Hello everyone, Kevin here. So what do you guys think? I finally got an intro for my modding tutorials. I also got a new microphone. I'm still working on the audio settings for it, so it might take a couple videos to get it just right. So what are we doing? Um, well, I thought we'd give Forge a try. Now, to be completely honest, at first I didn't like Forge. I thought it was a really hacky way of modding Minecraft, and and uh, I didn't think Forge would have the flexibility to do what I wanted to do. However, Forge has come a long way, and after taking a good look at it, I decided to at least give it a try, and I was pleasantly surprised, um, both at its versatility and all the benefits that comes with modding with Forge. So let's uh, keep an open mind and just try it out. And if you don't like it, we can always go back to the MCP method later. Um, so in this first video, uh, we'll just be downloading and setting up our coding environment for Forge and installing the Forge plugin. So let's get to it. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is download the Forge source code and plugin. The links are in the description below. On the Forge download page, make sure you have the 1.8 version selected. Here we have the latest version of Forge and the recommended version of Forge. I suggest getting the recommended version. First we need to download the plugin, which is this little Windows logo here. We have to wait for the 6 second ad counter at the top right corner to finish, and then click the skip button that pops up. We save it to the desktop, then go back to the Forge download page. The second one we need is the Forge source code, which is this less than slash more than button here. Again, we have to wait for the six second counter and then click skip when the counter finishes. We also save that to the desktop. Then we need to download Eclipse. On the Eclipse download page, we can download the IDE for Java developers in 32 or 64 bit. Uh, get the 64 bit if you're running a 64 bit system. You hit the green download button and save that to your desktop. Now we have everything we need to get Forge set up. We start by extracting the Forge source code to a folder on the desktop. This contains everything we need to decompile, code, debug, and recompile Forge mods. Then we run the plugin installer. Make sure the install client radio is selected and click OK. To load Forge mods into Minecraft, you need to make sure the Forge release is selected in the launcher versions pull down menu. Now you need to run Minecraft once on this version setting so that the Forge plugin can initialize and create the new required folders. Then you can close it right away. Now we can extract Eclipse to a folder on the desktop. And that's all for the software. Now we need to set up Forge. Open the Forge source folder and create a new text file. Right click on the window, go down to New and select Text Document. 
rename this file decomp.bat. Then open it in Notepad. Type this line in. Make sure to capitalize where I do. Then save and close. Now create another text file in this folder and call it recompile.bat. and open it in Notepad. Type in this line. Then save and close. And we're all ready to decompile and set up Forge. Double click the decompile.bat file to begin. This takes a while so I'll fast forward through the decomp process. Let's throw a timer up and see how long it takes. A little over 14 minutes. And we're almost done. Just a couple things to take care of. Let's run Eclipse. We need to tell Eclipse where to find the source code for Forge. So when this window pops up, click on the Browse button here and navigate to the Forge source folder on the desktop. Inside the Forge folder, select the Eclipse folder and click OK. You can also check this box, so this copy of Eclipse will automatically open the Forge project on startup. And this is it. On the left side we have the Package Explorer. And if you expand the Minecraft folder, you'll find subfolders for the mods you're currently working on, libraries, and the Forge source code. Uh, these two folders are the only ones you'll be using to make your mods. The Java folder at the top is where you'll create your custom classes, and the Resources folder is where you'll be placing your textures, models, sound effects, and other assets for your mod. There's an example mod class already here. It doesn't actually do anything, so we'll be deleting it in the next video and starting from scratch with our own mod classes. The best thing about Forge, in my opinion, is this. If you click this little Run button, you can run Minecraft in debug mode directly from Eclipse with your mod automatically loaded. The console window in the bottom here will give you a readout of uh, Minecraft's console. Uh, this makes debugging your mods very easy. The Forge plugin adds a mods button in the Minecraft menu where you can manage all your installed mods. Uh, but we'll get to that later. For now, let's close Eclipse and finish up. Open up your hard drive and navigate to your Minecraft folder under Users, uh, your username, App Data, Roaming, Minecraft. You'll find a Mods folder in the Minecraft game folder. Right click on it 
and under the send to menu select desktop as shortcut. Now we have a shortcut to the mods folder. This is where we'll be placing the forge mods we create. You can rename this shortcut to anything you want. I'm just going to call mine Minecraft mods. And that's all. In the next video, I'd like to revisit the first mod I created in MCP. Uh, the new blocks mod for the sulfur and potassium and create the same mod in Forge, just to see what the difference is. Um, spoiler, I already tried it, and it was way easier. Not to mention, uh, I was very quickly able to create a universal block subclass with custom constructors that make adding blocks, items, and recipes uh, and to the world generator as simple as typing out a single line of code. Um, I think you'll be very pleased when you see how easy it is. So before I go, I'd like to remind you to please hit that like button. It really helps me out. And uh, feel free to share and subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon.